Hi, today let's see connectivity of a graph. We also have different types of connectivities in a graph that is your cut set, cut vertices, all those are your connectedness in your graph. So connectivity is the basic concept of a graph theory. It defines whether a graph is connected or disconnected. So without connectivity, it is not possible to traverse a graph from one vertex to another vertex. So a graph is said to be connected graph if there is a path between every pair of vertices. That means from every vertex to another vertex, there must be some path to traverse. This is called connectivity of a graph. So a graph is said to be disconnected if there exist multiple disconnected vertices and edges. A graph connectivity theories are essential in network appliances, routing, transportation network and network tolerances, etc. So here I have an example on what is the connectivity of a graph and disconnected. What is the connectedness in the graph? So example, if you take this graph, the above examples possible to travel from one vertex to another vertex. Here we can traverse from B. Like we can traverse from B to A to D to F and to E and to H. Hence, it is a connected graph. But if you look at the below example, it is not possible to traverse from B to H. It's not possible as it is disconnected because there is no path between them directly or indirectly. Hence, it is a disconnected graph. Simple terms, this is a disconnected graph because it does not have any connectivity from D and F. There is no connection. Hence, it's said to be a disconnected graph. We cannot, if we can traverse from B to D like B, A, D, if you want to traverse from B to H, we don't have any other option to traverse from B to H. Okay. So let's see what is a cut vertex. A cut vertex, a single vertex whose removal disconnects a graph is called a cut vertex. So let G be a cut, connected graph. A vertex V of G is called a cut vertex if G of V, remove V from G results in a disconnected graph. So when we remove a vertex from a graph, then the graph will break into two or more graphs. This vertex is called a cut vertex. So a connected graph may have maximum n minus two cut vertices. Removing a cut vertex may leave a graph disconnected. Removing a vertex may increase the number of components in a graph by at least one. So every non-pennant vertex of a tree is a cut vertex. So let's see how a cut vertex is being described. So this is an example where we have an original graph where everything seems to be connected like you have connection from A to B, B to C and all that. So it's said to be a disconnected graph when we remove for example. So for this in this example cut vertex is nothing but suppose if I remove the vertex C it leads me to this vertex. The vertex C is cut. So which means this is not there. Uh, D and C is not there. B and C is not there. So this is a disconnected word graph. So this is nothing but your cut vertex. You are cutting the vertex. Okay. So what happens when vertex B is cut? So this is a simple example cases like when what happens when your vertex B is cut. So when the vertex B is cut, your A remains a null graph and it does not have any connection between those three graphs. It's similar case in E. This is all, the, all those are similar examples. What happens when you disconnect the graph E? You don't have any connectivity or any connectedness towards any other vertices. So cutting a graph or cutting the vertex from its graph is your cut vertex. So let's see what is a cut edge. A cut edge or a bridge in a single edge whose removal disconnects a graph. So let G be a connected graph. An edge of an edge E of G is called a cut edge of G. If G E remove E from E, so similar case as cut vertex is similar to cut edge, results in a disconnected graph. When we remove an edge from graph, then graph will break into two or more graph. The removal is called a cut edge or a cut bridge. The connected graph G may have almost n minus one cut edges. Okay. Removing a cut edge may leave a graph disconnected. Removal of an edge may increase the number of components in the graph by 
most one see cut edge e must not be a part of any cycle in g we have all these properties that have been listed so if cut edge exists then the cut vertex must also exist because at least one vertex of a cut edge is a cut vertex if a cut vertex exists then the existence of cut edge is not necessary so let's see how this is in the form of an example how a cut edge is going to implement is suppose if you see this example example 1 we have connectivity for b to h that is we have b c c e and h but when you look at if i cut an edge suppose if i am taking c e away it results in a two disconnected graph the similar case even for an example 2 if i am disconnecting c e it's gone if i am disconnecting if i am removing this c e if i'm going to cut removing the edge it's going to result me in a disconnected graph okay so next is our cut set so cut set in a connected graph g a cut set is a set s of edge with the following properties so it has properties the removal of all edges in s disconnects g the removal of some edge but not all in s does not disconnect g so for an example cut set is nothing but p are cutting the set a certain amount of set in such a way that it is going to be disconnected graph so here bd and ce is being disconnected it result me in a different kind of separate set that means abc is a set and dfgh will be a separate set so that's what is written in the, uh, to disconnect the above graph g we have to remove three edges that is bd bc and ce we cannot disconnect it by removing just two or three edges hence bd b e and ce is a cut set that means complete suppose if i am disconnecting this set so then my bd and ce will be one bd and ce will be my one a b c d will be my one set and f g h will be one set so let's see what is edge connectivity edge connectivity of a connected graph g is the minimum number of edges whose removal makes g disconnected it is denoted by lambda g so when lambda g is greater than k then the graph g is said to be k my k minus edge i mean it's not minus it's k edge connected so here k is the number of vertices suppose let's take an example um here i have five vertices a b c d e that's a connected edge so using the cut set concept how many number of times i can remove to make it a cut a minimum number of edges so so the con edge connectivity is for connected graph is a minimum number of edges whose removal makes g disconnected so it can go on n number of times <clears throat> here for the first step b and c is disconnected which means a b is one set and c d e is another set in second case d e is disconnected which means a c e is one set and d e is one set next you can traverse or you can cut in any way possible um, suppose if i take a b that means i'm cutting i'm keeping the a separate and um, i'm keeping the a separate a is a null set and b c d e as one more set even i can cut d e and also in such a way that a b c e is one set and d e is one set okay so this is how the edge connectivity is being so next is the vertex connectivity we have seen what is edge connectivity the vertex connectivity is also similar but here with the vertex the connectivity or the vertex connectivity of a connected graph g is the minimum number of vertices whose removal makes g disconnected or reduces to a trivial graph it is noted by k of g the graph is said to be k connected or k vertex connected when k of g is greater than k to remove a vertex we must also remove the edge incident to it so in the example here let's see an example number example g can be disconnected by the removal of single vertex c or d so 
Hence, the vertex connectivity is 1. Therefore, it is a 1 connected graph. So, here the vertex, by removing the simple vertex connectivity, that means here, suppose if I am removing this connectivity. So, here my separate vertices, this will be a disconnected graph G with a single vertex C. If I am taking with a single vertex either C or D, anyhow, to make it disconnected, okay? So that is what is meant by what is connectivity and the difference between the edge connectivity like we have discussed previously. So by this, I'm coming to the end of the connectivity session. And also for more such videos, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe on all your doubts. Keep watching and thank you.